Meanwhile, according to the World Health Organization, there are over 20 countries besides China that have confirmed the novel coronavirus infections that have either been imported from the Chinese passengers who had recently flown to or from Wuhan or from other hotspots of this infection. Now, Nature, that is a globally renowned science journal, has named many of these nations who, despite their economic and diplomatic linkages to China, are yet to disclose the presence of the novel coronavirus carriers or have severely underreported the numbers. This next report dwells on these nations that have underreported the novel coronavirus infections. Now, infections of the new coronavirus have now been detected, according to reports, in 25 other countries besides China. But researchers warn that the cases might actually be undetected in some nations that are considered to be at pretty high risk. A report in the science magazine Nature states that countries with weaker healthcare systems, such as those in Southeast Asia and Africa, are reporting fewer cases than expected or none at all. The countries with strong business ties to China are said to be particularly at risk. Now, in one of our reports yesterday, we told you as to have Pakistan, it appears, is playing with fire, or rather with the coronavirus, by lifting some restrictions on its inbound and outbound flights to and from China. The researchers have in fact been using flight data to try and create models of the virus's possible spread around the world. Flight data from February 2018, for instance, identifies 30 countries that are significantly at risk of importing the novel coronavirus carriers. The Thailand is said to be the country that is most exposed and according to doctors, Thailand probably imported nearly about 207 cases in the two weeks before travel in and out of Wuhan was restricted. Now another country that's also at very high risk is Indonesia. It may have imported as many as about 29 cases of coronavirus infection and yet has not declared a single case so far. This despite being one of the most popular countries for tourists. Now, several other countries, including Malaysia, Vietnam, Cambodia and Australia, have also reported fewer cases than what the model predicts. Now, what's in fact extremely worrying here is that the chances of the cases have gone undetected and the virus is spreading under the radar of the authorities. Now, the African continent has now reported just one confirmed case of the novel coronavirus. The report, however, does agree that several countries in Africa might not be exposed as some Southeast Asian nations. At the same time, the report breaks down as to how some countries in Africa have extremely weak health care systems, uh, low socio-economic conditions that, that, that is likely to make the spread of the coronavirus very plausible, unstable political situations which might make them highly vulnerable. This also was mentioned in the report. Furthermore, a large number of Chinese laborers work in Africa and their travel between China and Africa is a possible route of transmission.